What's up guys? Welcome back to another exciting episode on the CPA channel. Today we will be looking once again at traffic safety. Um, we were going to do one 9.3 road accident. This is on page 42 of your SEC2 textbook. Alright, so the objective of this is to create an animation, scratch animation, and then you got to print it out and by screen capture and print them in the mess word. So let's get down to programming the scratch animation. Okay, if you go to my projects folder, you'll find the traffic PS9 traffic and in the student folder, you have all these images. So we're going to use the man and the shop man. All right. And the red car. Okay. And we will also use the horn sound file. Of course, the background is the night scene. Okay. So I'm going to start in Microsoft Word. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm going to start in Scratch 2.0, which is over here. Scratch 2.0. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to go back to my folder. I'm just going to copy this out, the address copy. I'm going to go to Scratch and I'm going to... Let's say I save it first, alright? So I'm going to save it over my on my desktop. Alright, so let's call this uh, 9-3. Perfect. Incidents. All right. Index number zero one. Okay. Now, first and foremost, let's upload our main character. Now, after we paste it, we're gonna paste this. Okay, I'm gonna upload the man. There he goes, it's quite huge over here. And he has a costume. Shop here, costume of shop man. There you go. It's a bit too big, right? It's fine. We're gonna upload the red car. Okay, it's a bit small. And the backdrop. This is the night scene. There you have it. Okay. Now I'm gonna delete away the cat. Okay, so first and foremost, I gotta get this man. Um, let's take away the backgrounds. So I'm gonna go to fill, transparent, just the slash. Click away the white areas for the man. Oh, first costume and the second costume. Similarly to the second costume. There you go. Okay, all gone. Nicely done. The red car, also the white areas. Already, oh, there's a slight white area up there. Okay, I think we're done. All right, let's change him back to the first costume. Now, the man is rather too large, so what I'm gonna do is to set his size to say 10%. Okay, a bit too small, make him 20%. Alright, okay, that's fair enough. Okay. So now the man green flag click the man is gonna appear. Okay, we're gonna show him. Alright, we're gonna show him and where? Go to somewhere. Alright, up there. Now this code is where he is exactly standing now at y equal to 45. So if I put y equals 100 can see it's way too high so I'm just gonna put in 45 there right for now I'm gonna make it appear randomly at minus 220 to 220 okay so I'm just gonna test that code so he's just popping around right and now I'm gonna make him uh, point to about 135 okay I'm gonna make him go down this way he's gonna walk across that way. Okay, and he's gonna move. Alright. And now normally we'll use a forever loop. So it's that way. Oh he's gone now. Okay. But we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna to use the repeat until. Alright, so he's gonna repeat until he touches the new red car. Alright. Oh, we need to set the size. Okay, let's do that. 
Okay, he's appearing. Ah, oh. just hit the red car and he's gonna stop. All right. Okay. Now, if he touches the red car, touching. Okay, so he escapes. Into, if he touches the red car, what happens? He is gonna change his costume to the shock man. So initially we're gonna put his man as man zero. It's gonna appear okay. Now if he touches the edge, so touching edge here, right? If he touches the edge, okay, he will go back to his original random position. But we're gonna put this inside, right? So ah, until this loop is completed, or else we're just gonna make him loop again and again. So it's inside the repeat loop. Okay, stop there. Now, so we don't need to have this code over here. We're just gonna change to the shop man because he's done. Let's try. Go, 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 go. Yep, he's in the shop mode, right? So similarly, now we gotta make the car. Okay, so we need car. The car is gonna appear at the start. So that position is split over there. So go to is auto set for you already. So I just make it the number nicer a bit. One hundred and sixty to say minus forty. Let's test that position. So over there. Okay. If the car is too big, we can set the size, but I think it's fine. So it's gonna go down to the right. Point, we're gonna point it first to the right. Okay, so similarly, it's gonna repeat until he touches the man. So repeat until touching the man. Okay, so until he touches the man, or else what we do if he touches the edge in the meantime. What we're gonna do, we're gonna send him back to the starting position. Yes, there you go. So, until touching man, he's just gonna do a repeat loop. Now, if once this loop is escaped, right? So, so if this loop has escaped, he will play the sound, the horn sound. So, I'm gonna upload the horn sound over here. Upload horn sound. Okay, and play the horn sound until it's done. Okay, let's see how this thing works together. Ouch. Okay, now the man looks like he's slanted, so I'm gonna trigger the, trigger the left right only. So it's gonna be left right only. Okay, so is that. Stop and play. Okay, so we are done. Anything else to check? Let's go back to car. Okay, play the horn. It's done. And let's put a stop all or oh, stop script for this case. All right, we're gonna stop the script. Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial. So make sure you understand the repeat loop and repeat until and the if condition if that is the edge while the repeat is happening. Right? And for the man, repeat and touching for the car, sorry, but waiting to touch the man. If he touches the edge, he goes back to the original side position. That is all for the two simple codes for today. Alright. And don't forget the screen capture, which I will feature in a tutorial. Alright. Okay, do like the video and please subscribe.